Hey guys, Shadow Strider here and welcome to Composing Tutorial Episode 6. In this episode I will show you how to add libraries to contact, how to optimize them so they load faster and how to reduce the load on your computer when using contact. As you can see, I have my libraries on the left and my quick load files on the bottom right. My first tip will be to organize your libraries in two separate folders or two separate drives if possible. One for contact libraries which are integrated using the manage libraries and add libraries button and one for libraries which are used from the quick load menu. The first type of contact library use the manage libraries button or add libraries depending on which contact version you have. These libraries are locked and once added to contact require additional serial numbers to be activated and they will appear on the left side of your screen under the libraries option once added and activated. The second type of contact libraries are the ones which come in contact file formats only and do not require additional activation. You add and access those through your quick load menu which you can show or hide by right clicking in the empty space where you load your instruments. The only difference between the two libraries is that you cannot use quick load ones with the free contact player and you will need to buy the full version while the libraries which require activation can be used with both versions of contact. Now I will show you how I have organized my folders in my hard drives. As you can see I have put my license libraries on one drive and quick loads on another. If you cannot use two separate drives, I suggest to at least use two different folders for organization purposes. Here are my licensed libraries which are added to contact by using the manage libraries or add libraries button. And here I have a couple more licensed libraries along with all of my quick load libraries. Again, in order to use the quick load libraries, you need to add them through the quick load menu. In order to open the quick load menu in contact, you right click on an open space where the instruments usually are to close it and right click to open it or you just click the button up here and click the quick load menu. In order to install a quick load library in the menu, you click files and then you need to select the library folder in the above menu until you see the instruments folder of that library in the bottom menu. Then you just need to drag the instruments folder inside the quick load menu. Note that you cannot drag files from the top menu, you can only drag files from the bottom one. You just select them and drag them. Now you only need to double click on the instrument or hold and drag it into the instrument panel. The first time that you open an instrument it's gonna take a while for contact to load it. For this tutorial I reinstalled my contact and also removed all of the libraries and added them anew so that I can show you guys the difference. Currently it took me 15 seconds to load this instrument. Now I will show you how to speed this up. You go to the folder of the instrument, you right click on the given library folder and then select properties. You untick the read only option, click apply and then ok. Now you wait for it to apply the changes. Depending on the size of the library, it can take from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. I'm gonna speed up the video at this point. Now you just click OK and go back into your digital audio workstation and into contact. What you need to do now is battery save the instrument. But firstly, you need to remove the instances of the instrument in contact. Then you click the icon, click battery save, confirm yes and then you need to select the library folder. You do not select the instruments folder, you just select the general library folder in your quick load folders. After you have selected your folder you just click OK and you wait for it. Again depending on the size this is gonna take from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes First it's gonna recheck all of the samples and then it's gonna batch resave them. I'm gonna again speed up this video. When it is finished you just need to add the library again and you will notice the difference. As you can see it loaded in less than 2 seconds compared to the previous time when it took a whole 15 seconds to load. 
I will now show you how to reduce the load on your computer when using contact. I have currently opened one of my default Cubase templates for composing. Let me just fix something that I forgot before doing this recording. Rather than using a new instance of contact for every new instrument you want to add to your project, it is much more efficient to use one instance of contact for multiple instruments. In my case, I use a one instance of contact with 8 MIDI channels and 8 outputs activated for a minimum of 8 instruments. In this case, for my string section, I have one instance of contact with 8 strings instruments added. I have set up my contact outputs in advance for more instruments than 8 if I need them. And now I will show you how to use contact with multiple instruments with separate MIDI channels and separate outputs. Just let me hide the outputs first. I'm going to add four string instruments now. Basses, cellos, violas, and also violins. When you add a new instrument to contact, it will automatically give it the next available MIDI channel. As you can see, mine have automatically been set 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you wish to change uh, which track uses which channel, you just need to click on the number in the track channel and change it. By using contact this way, you reduce the load on your computer by a huge amount. Your computer will receive more stress the more contact instances that are open and vice versa will have less load the less number of contact instances that are opened. There's only one thing you need to adjust manually when you add instruments this way and that is the outputs of the instruments. Contact automatically switches the MIDI channels but it does not switch automatically the output channels. For example, the cellos are automatically set to MIDI channel 2 but as you can see they're set to output 1 so you need to change that manually to output 2 then for the violas to output 3, and finally output 4 for your violins. You can use the same output, but I prefer using separate ones for each. You can see here when you expand the contact instrument where the outputs go, and I'm gonna rename them again, cellos, violas, and violins. I do not rename the top one to bass because it's also gonna rename the contact instance to bass, and I prefer to stay as string instruments. Now your workflow is gonna be faster, it's gonna be more efficient, and most of all, your computer is gonna be under less load and it's gonna be faster. The only thing you need to remember is to right click on the contact instance and activate the outputs which you're gonna use. Otherwise, you're not gonna hear any sound when you press the MIDI keyboard on the given MIDI instrument. On this current template, I use eight instances of contact with eight MIDI channels and 8 separate outputs for each channel. I can always add more MIDI channels and more active outputs if I desire. Thank you for watching this episode guys, please remember to click the thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this, also comment and share it as you see fit, and don't forget to press the big red subscribe button to see more content like this.